Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and like I promised, we are going to be doing the lineup update today. Uh, I wanted to show this first because AJ Boye going for 950k. I will be posting mine after I'm done recording this video um, and trying to sell it. I just bought one tonight for 920k. Obviously, if I can sell them for 900k, I'll make coins off of that. So I will try to sell him, and then I will rebuy him again when he drops low, and then if he goes up again, I'll try to resell him again. Uh, so if there's a couple videos or whatever where I don't have AJ Boye, there is your reason why, is if I can keep flipping him for positive, or for, for a net profit, I will. But let's get into the video here. So the offensive line, pretty much not going to be spending any more coins on the offensive line we've got jason peters boosted to an 86 justin Pugh boosted to an 85 ali mop Mar mop it boosted to an 87 shaq mason boosted to an 86 and brian balaga boosted to an 86 now in order to get the shaq mason boosted i had to buy this christian okoye but it was worth it, I think, to boost the Shaq Mason. It was only like 50k or something like that for the Christian Okoye. And I guess I could be running a free Christian Okoye, and it would have been free. But what fun is that? I want to have... I, I, the chemistry gives me something to go for. Okay, rather than just throwing together a Mishpah team of the, the God Squad, it lets me have a little fun with some chemistry. Now, Nate Solder is the backup tackle. And Bruce Matthews is the backup interior lineman. Uh, for the tight ends, we're rolling with Zach Ertz and Jared Cook. Uh, the reason I picked Jared Cook is he's got 74... Or wait, hold on. He's, he's got a... Uh, where's my boy Jared Cook? Yeah, yeah, I was looking at the right one. My boy Jared Cook has 74 run blocking. Now, Zach Ertz is some trash can at run blocking at 66, but Ertz, or uh, Cook with that 74, that's why he made the lineup. Quarterback, we got the GOAT, Tom Brady holding it down. We got Marino, who cares, holding down the backup spot. Like I said, Christian Koye, fullback. Jared Cook is his backup. Barry Sanders starting running back. I don't necessarily love Barry Sanders. He's had his fumble issues for me, but yeah, he's on the team because I'm not buying another halfback. So I'm going to either have to pull a non auctionable tradable halfback or Barry Sanders is forever on my team. I'll show you guys. We'll go look and see who I'd want as my halfback if Barry, if I pulled a non-auctionable. But James White, the backup. Wide receivers, we got we got Randy Moss. We got three goats on offense. We only got the one. We got the one true goat and then two two baby goats. So we got Randy Moss. We got Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks plays like a god card. So yeah, uh, that's why he's on the team. Uh, Tyreek Hill also plays like a god card. I bumped up. I splurged. I bought the 100k. 84 overall Tyreek Hill with 91 speed. He plays like a monster. You can tell the difference between this one and the other one. So I suggest if you want a Tyreek Hill and you can afford it, I would upgrade to this one. Uh, Megatron holding down the backup. Same with Julio. Um, Megatron stats just aren't good enough. I mean, he was my starter, but those stats are pretty weak, especially the speed. He has a hard time getting open speed-wise. Um, but he's not a bad card at all, but I definitely prefer Tyree Kill and Brandon Cooks, even though they're shorter. Moving on to the defense, and the part of my team that I love the most is my defense. And we'll start We'll start with the boring part, all right? You guys can see the rest, but we'll start with the boring part. So we got John Abraham. Got John Abraham holding on the routes the right side. And now the reason I picked John Abraham is his speed. He comes in with an 83 speed. Uh, nothing really special other than his speed, but um, I do like that speed on John Abraham. He also fit the chem. Uh, mean Joe Green holding down the middle. This was about an 80k card, so not cheap, but he was my chem. And I wanted him since he came out, so yeah. Malik Jackson is on the squad. It was Sheree Floyd, but Malik Jackson is on the squad simply because AJ Boye is now back. So Malik Jackson holding it down for the chemistry bonus. Now I could buy Paul Plus Lesney and Jalen Ramsey, which would mean I'd probably sell Byron Maxwell and Darius Slight together. I'd sell both of them to get that done. And AJ Boye, AJ Boye would have 91 play rec. Um, I don't know. I've been seeing conflicting opinions on whether the 91 threshold is just man and zone or if it's everything. Um, and 
so I haven't really pulled the trigger on the Puzzle Lesney because it's like 100k and the Jaron Ramsey is like 50 which is about the equal to selling Darius Slay um, which probably isn't an awful idea if I sold Darius Slay I could upgrade a position like two positions so I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do but probably we'll just stick with this because I really want to keep Darius Slay um, and Byron Maxwell and in order to do that I, I could buy Will Myers the kicker or whatever not well whatever his name is the kicker for the Jags I could buy him and he would he would also get me there but I don't really know if I want to do that um, Cameron Wake the flashback um, this card is all right it's not great. It's got the 91 power move and 90 play rec. So if 91 is the threshold for everything, he's got that 91 power move, which is decent. Other than that, that card's not too great. He was just super cheap, and he's a super cheap 88 overall. Uh, on the on the offense, we've got three baby, or we got three goats, and on the defense, we've got three flashbacks. Now moving on to the uh, linebackers, we got Telvin Smith, the young god, probably the best card on my team, plays the best on my team. I guess he's not the best card. AJ Boy is but this card plays like a savage one of the best cards on my team uh, i can't boost any of his stats to 91 but this card just plays like a god i love this Telvin smith and that's why he's on the team and i pulled his non or i got his non-auctionable tradable and so we locked him in powered him up Dayon buchanan a new addition replacing ray lewis and mike singletary I guess I can throw Singletary at the linebacker four, but bro, those guys cannot cover to save their lives. Like it is legit depressing every time those two touch the field and try to cover. So we went Dion Buchanan, and so that's that. We got him holding it down, and then Ray Lewis holding down the backup spots. But Ray Lewis kind of got phased out. I have four goats on this team, but Ray Lewis getting a little fa getting phased out of here. Um, Nigel Bradham holding down the left outside linebacker. Like I said, I have interest in Puzzle Esne, but for 100k, the upgrade isn't that much as like four extra man, and that's it. That's really the only upgrade. He loses speed and all that stuff. So Nigel Bradham will be holding it down. Uh, I doubt I do that Jalen Ramsey slash Paul Puzzle Esne upgrade. So we're we're sticking with Bradham. Safeties, Devin McCourty, who like I couldn't sell. Like he's just stuck on the team. I couldn't sell him. Um, but now I want him because now we're gonna be playing at that. So I want him, but yeah, I couldn't sell him. So yeah, Devin McCourty on the team permanently. Uh, Eric Barry boosted to a 91 with the Chems. Uh, just a beast card, 91 play rec. Uh, he's got that 84 man, 89 zone. Uh, just a beastly card, and it'll be locking down that safety position. Now we got Patrick Chung in the backup slot. Uh, for the strong and then we got haha -ha clinton dex as the backup for the free and then they're both the third option where they're not the second miles jack actually cracked the lineup i completed one of the don't ask me why i completed one of the jags um team leaders but i did uh i was gonna do like the jags complete like solo string but i haven't got to that yet because i've been busy and moving on to my favorite part of the team the cornerbacks we got aj boye Holding down the outside, the dude's got 92 man, 92 press, 90 play recognition along with that 91 zone. Like I said, if we picked up two more Jaguars and threw them on the team, he'd have that 91 play recognition. Uh, but haven't done it, probably won't do it because I don't know. I think 92 man, 92 zone, or not, yeah, 90, 92 man, 92 press, 91 zone good enough but that moved stefan gilmore to the bench and the issue with stefan gilmore getting moved to the bench is we knocked the patriots chemistry down to just tier one it's no longer tier two so mccordy really the only one that this affects because most of the guys are on offense but still drops mccordy a little bit down doesn't drop he, he wasn't gaining it overall so that's good but darius slay holding down that second cornerback slot and byron maxwell holding down the slot now i should probably switch them uh but because slot tends to be shiftier wide receivers but i want byron maxwell there i like darius slay he plays really good for me so he's holding down and then there's the stefan gilmore he'll come out in four corner sets if i didn't mention trey flowers is the end backup and then alan branch branch is the d tackle backup champ holding down the fifth slot specialist we got ryan allen greg the leg greg the leg ryan allen same thing there uh barry sanders and james white 
holding down the running back still. Matthews, Bruce Matthews is the long snapper, and then Solder, then Ali Marpet. Uh, for the kick and punt returns, it is Tyree Hill, John Ross, Ted Ginn, and Stefan Gilmore. This Ted Ginn was like the rewards for opening up packs. Um, he was like the gold reward, or the all pro reward, or whatever they called it. Uh, so he he got thrown into the team. He's got 87 speed. Nothing special. Um, could probably go with this Tavon Austin over him. He's got 88 speed. Um, but yeah, that's 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 the squad. Um, I will show you. What's I gonna, oh, I was gonna show you the running backs that I would like to pull non auctionable, non tradable, um, in order to replace Barry because I'm not buying one like I said. So I'll show you this real quick. So halfbacks would load in so obviously i can't pull like marshall and i can't pull this of these but i would take Le'Veon. obviously it's pretty simple i take Le'Veon. so moving on to the 88 89s supposedly latavius murray's a beast but i don't really want to buy him obviously i take demarco but i don't know if i'd start demarco uh, i would take shady for sure i would i would take shady and play him over barry um he doesn't have, like, better stats, really, than Barry, but I would play him over Barry. Uh, David Johnson would get started over Barry. I would probably, I say I would probably start Zeke. I'm not sure, but I would prob. I would, uh, l let me just say I'd probably start Zeke over Barry, but it would be close. I'd probably power up Zeke, and then I'd start him over Barry. I guess that's where we would go. I'd power up Zeke, and then, then he'd, be he'd beat out Barry. Uh, and then 86, 87, there's, uh, I would consider a Jai, I'd consider all these guys, um, but I don't know if I'd lock any of them in. Maybe Jordan Howard, I kind of like Jordan Howard's card, but other than that, it had to be one of the high overall halfbacks in order to knock uh, Barry out of the starting lineup. But guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Letting go, times we might feel, looking down.